All right, y'all can nuggle up when you're ready. Thanks, Doc. Hey, Hydra. Hey, how's it going? Good luck. Yeah, good luck, man. Oh, you got it, though. You got to download something. Nice block. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, all right. Hey, Hydroxide's doing great here. So I kind of say this every time, but Ding is, oh, and you can even see me in the first person trying to get out of the way of the falls, and I'm just watching. So usually what happens in games of Spark is that you'll have the first, I'd say about 10 throws. Both the players are really trying to build up strikes. So what I call, I call them straight and simples, right down the middles. Less bounces, the better. Um, and usually because of that, they're fairly easy to dodge. But when you go up against Ding, Ding will throw the craziest fucking shots at you. And you'll think that they're not gonna hit, and then they'll curve halfway across the stage, and uh, uh, you can't you can't really trust them at all. Ding actually getting up to 24 strikes! Hydroxide though, taking the first point! Oh, there we go. He takes it right back though. I'm tired after one point. <laughs> wow. Oh, Ooh, all right, Hydroxide taking a second point against Ding here. Okay. Okay. Are we looking at an upset? Are we looking at the upset? Ooh, all right, Ding takes that second point, but Hydroxide's got five strikes up on him. If he can just avoid in the first kind of phase of this this set, if he can avoid getting hit out of nowhere, then I think that he could take he took he could take a round off of Ding. I'm sorry, the first part of the volley. Those are the three ways that I separate. One point is a volley, one uh, four points is a, a a round, and then of course the game. You can see they're going strike for, oh, strike for strike, but Ding takes the third point. Oh my God, though, Hydroxide got him up to 14 strikes. So that is, I would say, Ding's one weakness, is that when you get up to high strikes on Ding, that's where he starts to, uh, 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 I mean, I won't say he starts to, to fall in skill, but he definitely isn't nearly as hard to deal with. Between like, between like strikes zero and 10 is when I get hit the most by Ding. And it frequently is like, I'll, I'll, he'll take a point off of me, and then he'll take another point off of me, and then he'll take another point off of me. And it's just a slippery slope from there. All right. Oh, Ding has the strike advantage, but Hydroxide actually almost took it there. Oh. Oh, get him, ball! Oh, that, was a, that was a reflect from Ding. Ooh, okay, nice reflect. He keeps ducking into that one corner. That makes me nervous. No disconnects. Oh, and Ding takes round one. Oh my God, though, he got so close. He got so close.
Okay, Ding's gonna go ahead and take that first point off of 16 strikes. I'm gonna stay on just a little bit afterwards and see if I can't find that article that he was talking about. Cause I wanna like, I wanna see what studio, if they mentioned the studio name so I can do a bit more research. Cause the last time I heavily researched shit was during the last Big Spark update. I went back and looked at that and they basically, they hired an outside firm that specializes in basically servicing older games that have otherwise lost support. Um, and the person who heads that studio was an ex-Spark dev. So they might be calling the same people that they had to originally. Yeah. Thing takes a second point. They might be calling those same people again. And if that's the case, that means that we might be getting more features too. But we're gonna see. Usually you can find, I mean, you know, cause there are development studios that just specialize in porting games over. If that's the case, then we probably won't see many future updates for the game. But if they're willing to pour, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, you know what I'm saying? If they're already gonna spend time updating the game, they could do stuff like, they could do a lot of stuff. All right, we're getting into this match though. Cause honestly, Hydroxide is just, he's doing real great. It, it, He's not winning, but he's doing real great here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I shouldn't say shit. Oh, I really so shouldn't say shit. I literally just on stream was like, Hydroxide, you know, he's not winning, but he's really, really doing good here. And then, oof. 